Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff, and we're about to find out if they are going to reach out to you. Now let's jump into it with an oracle card message for my Capricorn. Ooh, my, hold on, my hands are so freaking, I got all this lotion on them. I wash my hands so much, they be so dry. But anyway, is Capricorn's person going to reach out to them, Spirit? Is Capricorn's person going to reach out to them, Spirit? Last shuffle. Is Capricorn's person going to reach out to them, Spirit? Change in the night. You have changed quickly. Lead the way. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. Find the lesson. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. Manage to be glad, create your own happiness regardless of conditions. So what I'm already getting is, hmm, you're the one who decided to walk away because something about you had changed. I feel like for a while now, you've been waiting on this person to message you or call you or contact you in some way, but you no longer want that anymore. I feel like you're taking the lead in a situation or you're showing others that, you're showing others a different way to handle this situation. And you're finding the lesson in it. Some of you could be reaching out to this person and being the bigger person here. But I feel like for the majority of you, regardless if you reach out or not, you're managing to make this moment happy and enjoying the moment as is and not like being miserable waiting on this person to contact you. You're not letting your life stop for no one, pretty much. But let's see if this person will reach out to my Capricorn spirit. Capricorn's person reach out to them spirit last shuffle will Capricorn's person reach out to them spirit whoa that's that was all right <laughs> I've been struggling that was one of the better shuffles tonight first card is the eight of swords this person is stuck in analysis paralysis they don't know how to speak to you what to say to you yeah because there was a lot of conflict i feel like there could be some manipulation someone it's a power struggle there's a power struggle between you two they want to be in control you want to be in control the tower yeah overthinking analysis paralysis this person is having a tower moment because they don't know how to gain control of the situation we have the queen of cups and the queen of wands so this isn't going to be for everyone, this part right here, but there could have been other parties, either a water sign, feminine, or a fire sign, feminine. Then we have the devil, Capricorn, your sign here. And then, oh, I'm, I'll just grab these two, the page of swords and the hanged man, Pisces. So, um, someone here can't be alone. That's what I'm getting. Someone has to have other people involved. Also, someone likes to make other people feel jealous or hurt because it makes them feel important. Yeah, there was conflict over longevity in this relationship. Someone was very disappointed. I feel like there could have been... You were definitely dealing with someone, Capricorn or Cross Watcher, who was a, a thief of time and energy. Lie, cheat, and steal. There's also a lot of fear base here. You no longer want this situation anymore. You're taking, I feel like with the take the lead, you're showing other people around you not to wait on someone who's a piece of shit. I'm sorry for my language, but that's what this person is. They're the, I know the card, the devil is um, your card, Capricorn, and it's not always negative. But I'm seeing it as so in this reading. It's like this person, and then with the Page of Swords, they like to spy and see people suffer. To see if people are jealous or going through it. Spirit is telling you to find the lesson, Capricorn. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. So this person, hmm. I feel like this person is going to spy on you. But when they do message you, they're going to start conflict. 
Yeah, they're spying on your social media somehow, either LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Facebook, something like that. They're spying on your social media. And with the Five of Swords, they're trying to win at all costs in this argument, this debate. They're trying to hold off longer than you or whatever kind of argument you got going on. They're trying to win it at all costs. There had definitely, most definitely been a tower moment between you and a water sign or fire sign, someone with who's a water sign with a lot of fire in their chart or vice versa. Let me clarify this and get into the details of this because this is something else. Ooh. Clarify this message, please, spirit, for my Capricorn. Last shuffle, please clarify this message for my Capricorn. Clarifying the Eight of Swords is the Queen of Cups again. The Queen of Cups is here twice. And the Six of Swords. That could be, okay, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of um, Wands could be one and the same. I feel like um, there's a water sign. Either you're letting go of a water sign or they're letting go of you. There's someone who's been overthinking about offering their love, offering their cup, and someone's deciding to let that go. Clarifying the Tower is the Five of Pentacles. Someone is has had a tower moment because they have no one's energy to drain off of. They're used to having a bunch of people in rotation to drain and use and cause a wreak havoc, but they no longer can. They're no longer getting the attention that they've been seeking, that they've been needing with the Six of Wands. And I feel like now whoever's been hurt in this situation is the one getting the attention. Things are not going to move forward with this person with the Two of Swords. They may reach out to you, but I feel like you won't want to be bothered. So can you expect communi communication? Yes, but I don't think you'll want it. Clarifying the Queen of Cups is the Lovers, Gemini, the Choice, and then the Nine of Swords. I mean, sorry, the High Priestess, Pisces. There's definitely a Pisces here. Because we got the Hanged Man and the the um high priestess we also have the lovers gemini too clarifying the queen of wands is the nine of swords so there could be i feel like this person is up worried about you they because they want to work with you with the three of pentacles yeah this person is up losing sleep they're full of anxiety worry depression they feel all these toxic things because they truly do want to work with you let's clarify this devil Justice card, Libra. And then the strength card, Leo. Yeah, there was some toxic energy, something very unjust. If someone's gathering all their strengths to right the wrong. And then the devil card is here twice. This person is toxic. Definition of the word toxic. And they spy on you. They watch you. And I feel like you they are going to contact you. And when you, they do, it's not going to be good. They're going to say whatever they can to hurt you. Whatever they can to win with the Seven of Swords. They're, they probably might just tell you the truth just to hurt you. Or embellish the truth about a third party just to hurt you. They're going to say something to trigger you on purpose when they contact you. I advise you to block this person in any way, shape, or form you can. Because they're coming from a hurt place and a low place anyway. Hurt people hurt people. They're vibing off a of five of pentacles energy when you're the six of wands. You're the high priestess. Like what? Clarifying the hanged man is the emperor Aries. So you could be dealing with an older person or a father. Clarifying the hanged man is the four of wands. So this person could have their own home, their own business, their own strong foundation. And that may have been what attracted you to them. But I feel like you found out that was a shallow, it was shallow and empty something. They they may have put themselves and their business on a pedestal, but you see the truth now. This person and uh, everything that comes with them is shallow, hollow. And things are not going to move forward with them. With the Two of Swords, this person causes you nothing but anxiety, worry, and sleepless nights. They drain you. You see them for who they are. They are going to reach out because they're running out of narcissistic supply. Let me get you your final oracle card message for my Capricorn. Final oracle card message for my Capricorn. Oh my gosh. 
slash shuffle. Final Oracle card message for my Capricorns. All right. Sorry for all the slamming on the table. I know it was probably loud. Okay, we have confidence. It comes with time and practice. Number 23, evil queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. Number two, and dragon. Slay them all. Okay, we have tree. Let them go. And bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. Overall energy is... Potion, remember to practice self-love, number 24. All right, Capricorn, that is your reading. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And I send you all peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.